Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh On this occasion, my name is Regita Shabdina And my partner name is Husnul Ramadan Eka Putri We are from Semesta High School Bilingual Boarding School Semarang We will present our project Namely, Utilization of Local Plants Dio Onion, Moringa Leaves, and Shrostock Leaves As anti breast Cancer First, Cancer is a non-communicable disease characterized by abnormal and uncontrolled cell growth that can damage surrounding tissues. Cancer has the ability to spread throughout your body and is one of the leading causes of death worldwide. Second, breast cancer is a cancer with the highest percentage of new cases after being controlled by age. There are two effects that will cause cancer. First, gene mutation you are born with. You may be born with a genetic mutation that you inherit from your parents, but this type of mutation accounts small percentage of cancer. The second is gain mutation after birth, such as smoking, hormone, radiation, virus, chemical, lifestyle factor, chronic inflammation, and lack of exercise. What is Eleotherium bulbosa, Moringa oleifera, and Anona muricata? As we know, Indonesia has very high biodiversity, including the diversity of medicinal plants that can be utilized such as dye onions, moringa leaves, and source of leaves, which we often encounter and are easy to find. And these three ingredients contain compounds that can inhibit the cancer cells and are much safer than using synthetic drugs. This is percentage of breast cancer cast in Indonesia. The first percentage indicate that breast cancer cases have a highest incidence and morality among other cancer cases. In cases of incident, the number that is often found in breast cancer is women over age of 40. In cases of death, there is 15.3 women who die from Next, problem formulation. First, do the secondary metabolite in the plant Simplicia have anti-cancer properties? Second, how is the structure of the anti-cancer secondary metabolites with FTIR? Third, how to prove theoretically that secondary metabolites in plants have anti-cancer properties? Next is the objective device. In this study, the research aims to do phytochemical tests and FTIR to analyze the molecular structure of secondary metabolites which are anti-cancer. Second, to test the MTTSI method that use cytotoxic tests on cell breast cancer MDA MD23. And the last one, to analyze theoretically that the plant is anti-cancer. Next, methodology. First, we have to make Simplicia dye onions, pouring a leaves, and source of leaves into a powder. First step is cut the ingredients into a smaller size using a clip. Second step, put the ingredients in aluminum foil. Third step, bake the ingredients for one day at 70 degrees. First step, smooth the ingredients using a mortar. Second, performing photochemical secondary metabolites. First, photochemicals analysis of acrylate. First step, prepare 2 grams of the dry sample that has been powdered, then add 10 ml of chloroform. Second step, add 5 ml of chloroform ammonia, 0.05 molar, to do grinding in a mortar and bake and filter. Third step, add 10 until 20 drops of SO2N and shake gently 2 until 3 minutes. First step, Prepare to clean test tube, each filled with a small fraction of sulfuric acid. Second, photochemical analysis steroid and terpenoid. First step, 0.1 gram of sample was dissolved with methanol and then evaporated with water bath. Second step, the filter is crushed and then dissolved with 2 ml of chloroform in a test tube, then added with 10 drops of acetic anhydride. Third, 
photochemical analysis of flavonoid. First step, put a few drops of water fraction, analyze the alkaloid into a test tube. Second step, add magnesium metal powder and a few drops of concentration HCl. Third step, observe the formation of pink to red colors. Fourth, photochemical analysis of saponin. First step, Add 1 ml fraction of water into a test tube. Second step, test tube whisk for 1 until 2 minutes. Third step, enough foam formation of permanent. Show positively for... Fifth, photochemical analysis of phenols. First step, add a few drops of water fraction. Analysis of alkaloid into a test tube. Second step, add FECL, observe the formation of blue or blue-purple color, which indicates positively to phenolic. Third, analyze the FTER test. First, click the shortcut on the desktop, click the instrument menu, click FTER 840000 for the spectrum background contents of the file name. Click start background and wait 30 seconds. Place the snippet in the sample place. For spectrum samples, click on file name, then click start sample. Wait 30 seconds, click zero baseline, click abstract, to bring up the number click the pick table, OK, save file, save as PDF, and print spectrum. Third, analyzing the anti-cancer using test MTT cytotoxic. First, well was sewn into 96 well plates and incubated at 37 degrees Celsius under 5% CO2 for 24 hours. Next. Cell tripod treated with dionians, boring alius, and sorsolius, 10 until 500 microgram per milliliter, and left for 24 hours. Cells were treated with 0.5 milligram per milliliter MTT and incubated further for 4 hours. MTT formation was dissolved using 100 microliter SDS and incubated for 24 hours in the dark condition. After incubation, the absorbance was measured by an ELISA reader. Data analysis phytochemical screening. The result obtained conducting phytochemical tests on diac onions and moringa leaves contain alkaloid, flavonoid, phenolic, saponin, terponoid, and steroid. And four moringa leaves contain phytochemical including alkaloid, flavonoid, and steroid. This compound are a potential source of biopharmaceuticals that to be developed as a modern medical plant in human life because they have potential as antioxidant. Next, the result of FTR test. This figure show FTR spectrum at dial onions at a distance of 3369.03 cm to the power of minus 1 has an alcohol functional group with OH stretching. At 2929.67 cm to the power of minus 1 has an alkane functional group with CH stretching. At the distance of 1647.63 cm to the power of minus 1 has a functional group monosubstitute alkanes with C double bond stretching. And at distance of 1373.21 cm to the power of minus 1 had a phenol function group with OHA bending. Cytotoxic test result with the MDT assay method. The concentration of an is said to be potential against cancer when it has an IC50 value below 100 microgram per milliliter. Based on this table, on the simplicia of the onions with an IC50 value against MEAMB 231 cancer cells of 139 microgram per milliliter. On the simplicia of Madinga leaf with an IC50 value against MEAMB 231 cancer cells of 71 microgram per milliliter. On the simplicia of short soap leaves with an IC50 value against MEAMB 231 cancer cells of 166 microgram per milliliter. If the three are combined, the cytotoxic against breast cancer cells supports each other and it will be more potent. Based on this feature 1, MDA and B231 breast cancer cells. Based on feature 2, 
MBA MB 231 Sales Morphology under high concentration of Dayak Onions treatment. Based on figure 3, MBA MB 23 Sales Morphology under high concentration of Moringa leaf. And the last is MBA MB 231 Sales Morphology under high concentration of Sursoak leaves. The first conclusion is, plant simplicia can kill or stop the growth of cancer cell. Second, there are alkaloid compounds that have anti-cancer effect and inhibit cancer cell from spreading to other tissues. Third, there are flavonoid compounds with antioxidant which can repair cell damage by free radical. Acknowledgement This research has been run smoothly because it has received assistance from various parties. Therefore, we would like to thank the Dean of FNIPA, Marani State University, and Sultan Agung Islamic University, as well as the principal of SMA Semesta for allowing us to do this research, and the laboratory assistant who have helped in analyzing the research result.